Sziasztok! Ez itt az Ágyvéjel csatorna. I gave you an order, Acolyte. Go spill your new blood on those ghosts while I get some real assassins in here. An acolyte of gongs, hmm? So am I. Let's identify what training you need by sparring for a short time. Let's keep it non-lethal for now. Find you have enough enemies in this place. We acolytes are utterly expendable. Good. Remember, no killing blows. I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to practice those later. You would appear to have more than a passing knowledge of combat. I could almost see some kind of flaw, but I was clearly outclassed. Yes, you were. I knew this acolyte was something special, but I didn't think my trainer would be made to look like a fool. You, New Blood, you will be the trainer now. When I am promoted, you will train all my acolytes. You, assist her, if you can even do that. It would seem that you have taken over my duties. I will still serve as an advisor, as Master Gong ordered. There are techniques I can share.
In truth, I did not like being a trainer. Life for any of Master Gong's acolytes is rough and short, but especially so for trainers. Master Shin sees to that. My duties, your duties now, include training Master Shin's personal entourage. In the past, if a trainer was too good, Shin had that trainer killed to keep Gong weak. I think one member of his entourage is a full Lotus assassin. I have survived by appearing unimportant and staying out of the fight between Gong and Shin. You are supposed to train the attendants in his entourage. Some need it, but if you seem too skilled, your next fight will be against the hidden Lotus assassin. Besides, it wouldn't weaken Shin for long. I suppose he would be alone and more vulnerable if he had to fight right away, but he will replace them in time. Accidents happen, and even the attendants in his entourage are just acolytes, and therefore are utterly expendable. There would not be much fuss. However, you would probably find yourself training the hidden Lotus Assassin in the next bout. Any skilled acolytes under Gong are quickly disposed of. Are you mad? Well, it doesn't matter. You must train one at a time. If you seem to be too strong a target, I'm sure they will accommodate your death wish. You're in a hurry to make enemies, aren't you? Very well. Master Shin has a new attendant in his entourage who's supposed to be trained. Attendant Keton. She is replacing one of the acolytes who did not return from Tian's Landing. There was no explanation. I assume he was weak and was discarded. You can find her and all of the other attendants by the doors to the inner chambers. They wait there for when Shin leaves to inspect new slave shipments. I have learned a number of techniques. You approach the soul extractor. The assassins want you to create a spirit shard, to crush a life to power a golem puppet. They are very efficient in their brutality now. It wasn't always like this. Fear used to be the primary tactic. Destroy the family of one to ensure the loyalty of all. It caused chaos, uprisings, close allies turning on each other. Those inclined to betrayal fear it the most. Imagine if you could corrupt the machine and return the chaos of disloyalty the Emperor dreads. No matter your motives, helping the assassins harms you. If you corrupt the spirit shard, you can move forward while also crippling their golems. They seek control. There used to be a chance to disobey when the order given was too harsh. The victims pointlessly innocent. Now there is only obedience. There is something chaotic enough to disrupt that. In the elevator room to come, descend to the deepest mine, to the oldest graves. Just go. The thieves await you. 
Remember, the deepest mines. They are closed now for being too... troublesome. That is where you will find what you need. You must be Master Gong's latest acolyte. I heard there might be a new recruit, but they typically aren't ready for service so quickly. Stripping a will can take time. But Master Gong is known for being generous to those who please him. You must be quite exceptional to be allowed into service so directly. This device is the soul extractor. It has a loftier name, but we are here to glorify Emperor Sun through death's hand, not pay tribute to some distant celestial lord. It is mounted on an elevator that reaches deep into the necropolis. Until recently, we excavated bodies to extract spirits that lingered near their graves. The results were... unpredictable. Now we use slaves. Freshly killed spirits make the best golems. The more painful the death, the better. The extractor is not gentle. How does this glorify the Emperor? I know we will discover that Death's hand is behind it all. The soul extractor certainly kills whatever is placed within it. But little is left of the victim, so you cannot prove they did not belong there. Only a spirit shard remains. The Golden Press is far more dangerous, but I have nothing to do with that ungainly device. I prefer the elegance of ripping slaves apart. What kind of questions? If you must. It is a simple machine to operate. I'm sure you will come to enjoy the subtle joys of it. Spirits that die in trauma can linger near their mortal form. The Empire is soaked in blood. Many restless dead haunt the necropolis. But slaves produce a better result. Only on the prison level. Many of the mines are impassable. The graves were never intended to be stable during excavation. Several have collapsed. Much of the surrounding ground is weak. We do not march too many golems at once. Even that might shake something loose. Slaves are placed in the extractor, and the extraction fluid produces exquisite agony. Focused by this pain, the soul is forced to crystallize into a spirit shard. That shard is implanted in a golem, infusing it with the energy of the deceased soul. Your task is the creation of a new shard for a jade golem. Do not delay. Death's hand placed the machine here. It is said the Emperor himself brought pieces of some great celestial furnace back from the heavens. I do not fully understand how it functions, but I am not meant to. I obey, and that is enough. What kind of... 
Your place in the ranks of the assassins is clear. What do you want to know? Death's hand owns my soul, as he does yours and everyone else who has given themselves to him. In obedience and submission, we find our purpose. He is the living will of the Emperor. Through him, we are closer to the heart of the Empire. Grand Inquisitor Gia is the embodiment of the will of Death's Hand, even as he is the will of the Emperor. She governs us all while he is elsewhere. To defy her is to defy the Empire. Death is her first and last means of education on the matter. It is our hope, but not for much longer. With the Golem forces of the Emperor almost complete, there is little to tie us here. When the army marches, so shall we. I do not imagine we will leave much behind us. The ground here is weak. Such a movement of power will likely shake the walls to their foundation. What kind of... Then you should select a suitable victim for the procedure. I would recommend one of the slaves on the prison level. Selecting from elsewhere could bring unfortunate results, and I would not wish to see you disgraced so early in your time with us. Use the lever to select a floor, and this platform will move there. You are free to go where you wish, but I would avoid the lower mines. They are restless. The older tombs have spirits that have festered in their hatred for ages. They are not easily controlled. That is why we use slaves to power the golems now. As well, the mines are simply not stable. Tombs... What kind... You should get on with your work. Grand Inquisitor Gia is growing impatient for the Jade Golem to be completed. Select a suitable victim and create a spirit shard. Dead set on losing your life down to those tombs. I won't stop you. I won't save you. Either. Legendary strike. Ah! <laughs> 
The assassins use slaves for their golems now, in part because of tombs like this. That was a remnant of the old empire, the spirit of an ancient invading horse lord. Zheng Sai, the tree that defies the fire, was one of many that threatened to level the Imperial City. The spirit monks, your people stopped them, or so they claimed. I gambled that the vengeful spirits of these marauders would sense if you truly are a spirit monk. So many people are not what they seem to be. I had to be certain. I had to be certain. I won't trouble you much longer. Now that you have disrupted Zheng Sai's spirit, you can take his body from his grave and use it in the extractor. Even in life, his kind were devoid of restraint. His spirit is pure chaos. A shard made using his ancient corpse will cripple the Jade Golem and those it commands. When you finish your master's other task, present the shard to earn passage to the inner chambers. Inside is the information you need to proceed to the palace. I, however, will not be leaving. I will make that plain soon enough. Appease your master. When you are ready to enter the inner chambers, I will tell you why your success is so important. This fortress holds many secrets. Some are valuable, some are dangerous, and some are hidden because the dark is where they belong. Is there something you need? If not, we should concentrate on getting the information I require from the Lotus Assassins. I hate the Assassins. Camp... I will expose...
are you? Some new acolyte? I've seen a lot of your kind. I watch over the slaves you deliver to the extractor. The inevitability of their deaths is amusing. Haven't even earned your markings yet, I see. Master Gong must be getting weak to allow you such freedom already. Like what? They come from across the Empire. Some are brought from the south, some from the poor quarters of the city. Others are those who have merely spoken ill of us. Criminals might deserve such treatment, but this seems almost random. Their lives before don't matter. Only their debts concern us. Death's hand is our lord and master. He holds our souls in bondage and grants us power through it. We obey him unquestioningly. He is the will of the Emperor. Inquisitor Chia is second only to Death's Hand himself. She is in charge of our work here, and she oversees our operations in the Imperial City. You will meet her in time, and when you do, pray you do not anger her. Do what you like. What do you want? Like what? If there is nothing else, you should leave. Master Lotus Assassin, have pity on us. This is no assassin, fool. A Lotus Acolyte has no authority to do anything for you. One of the Masters could select you as servants, but they have subtle tastes. F forgive me. I saw a new face and hoped there was kindness there. I was mistaken. I am a criminal, I suppose. For lightening a few purses, I was sentenced to work on the wall, but I was delivered here instead. Some of the others were captured by pirates and sold. One merely asked why the Imperial Army reports to the Lotus Assassins now. We did nothing to deserve this harsh fate. You must be able to see that. Hundreds, thousands, I don't know. All that were here when I arrived are gone. There are scratches on the walls. Names of wives, of daughters. What did so many do to deserve such a horrible death? We can hear them scream, one by one. You... you would do that? The Lotus Assassins are not the only authority in the Empire. You are a long way from the authority you need to make such promises. Don't get attached to them. There will always be more. Yes. Farewell. What do you want now? You tread dangerous ground, Acolyte. Unless you plan to speed their processing in the extractor, you risk being punished for your impudence. These people are not cattle for you. You demand it? You are clearly not here as an Acolyte. If you want to die for these scrawny dogs, so be it.
You have... You have given us a chance. Please let us out. We are free, if only for a little while. There are sure to be other guards. Thank you for what you have done, but I'm not sure where to go now. The mine! The smaller one, remember? Before they stopped digging out the graves, there was light from the surface coming in. I heard someone got away once. I don't know if they made it out of the necropolis, but it is a chance. Thank you. I did not expect to find a kind soul in this place. Kawa <laughs> Safa afsoni wa kuhie kone no ni o yak kukti ni. Wo sa wir no swo son sir so no kone es u safa. Legendary strike. Yeah! <laughs> 
we're done with the extractor. That spirit shard will allow the Jade Golem to control a battalion of clay golems. Eliminate Shin, and I will present you to Gia. The inner chambers are not usually accessible to acolytes, but you have proven a valuable ally. You will go far with the Lord's assassins. Yes, I am aware. When you have finished your other task for me, I will let you present it in the inner sanctum of the fortress. That will be a great honor for a Lotus Acolyte. You may even meet Grand Inquisitor Gia. Finish the task I have given, Acolyte. Find a creative way to disgrace and kill Master Shin. How can I assist you? You're in a hurry to make enemies, aren't you? She is replaced. You can find. Goodbye. I'll say. My own demons distract me in this place, but I hold no love for your new master or the master above him. If you kill one, why not two? Distractions are the key to weakness in a target. If you look to the future, Master Gong will have his plans come crashing down on him. So, you are the new Lotus Acolyte under Master Gong. No one else has reason to be here. He was quick to favor you. New recruits are typically held in isolation. I will instruct you on the use of the Golem Press and Crane. 
Forming the golems is an honored task that elevates us above slaves and mere servants. The press is simple to use. Using this machine, we can create a legion of warrior golems in a day. Death's Hand has great power. We need proof of this from the inner chambers. This is only one step. Here we create husks devoid of energy. Each golem needs a spirit shard to move, and a jade golem must guide them all. For each shard, a spirit must be reduced to its essence. For a time, we used those that lingered near their graves, mining them as if they were silver. No longer. The recently dead make a stronger, more obedient golem, if the death is painful. With a jade golem guiding them, legions act as one, utterly obedient. The extraction chamber is a far more interesting place to work. The screams over there are music. Here we have only the creaking of clay. You nearly saw one as you entered, but they are rare. Falling victim to an obvious danger like a dropped golem or worse, the press, would take a monumental fool. The machines are loud and you can see the operator from anywhere in the room. A past victim of the press suffered more damage after the incident than during it. Reputations are very important in the Lotus Assassin Order. Falling victim to the press would cause a loss in status almost fatal in and of itself. The press is simple to operate. You select the type of body at the first station. Once the material is poured, it is funneled to the press. The press serves as a mold and a kiln. In short order, it can be opened and the new body is ready to be moved. The crane controls are at the end of the ramp. You can experiment with each station if you want, but you may as well reduce what you produce to rubble. There are no shards to power any more golems for now. You test my patience, Acolyte. You do not need to know much. We can make husks right now, but there will be no more... Very few are made. They are expensive and difficult to construct, but they are also essential. A single jade golem can direct and pacify a legion of others. I will return to my tasks.
Yes, Acolyte? Why have you chosen to disturb me instead of working on the tasks I have set before you? Hmm. An interesting idea. It has happened before, and the victim was certainly considered a fool for letting it occur. But it's impossible. You may as well try and drop one of the golems on him. He would never be so distracted as to enter the press. We are Lotus assassins, after all. Possibility. But Chin does not leave the inner chambers often, only to inspect the new slave shipments arriving in the Hall of Induction. You would have to close a great many eyes to get away with an assassination in the Hall and moving the body to the press, but it would certainly send a message. The Hall cleared of all witnesses, the press operator distracted, and the slave shipment stopped outside in the necropolis before it arrives. A daunting list of tasks. Do it quietly, but use force where you must. Succeed, and I will introduce you to Grand Inquisitor Gia in the inner chambers. A rare honor for an acolyte. Finish the task I have given, acolyte. Fight. So, you are the new trainer. You think you have something to show us? Master Shin has us test each of Gong's trainers to make sure they're skilled. But not too skilled. <laughs> am I your next student? I assure you, I am more than capable of defending myself. I was made an attendant because of my skills. Oh, don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Let's move this fight to the Hall of Induction so I have room to enjoy this. are either brave or foolish. I warned you that appearing too strong would make you a target of Shin's attendants. Actually killing one will incite them further. I would be very careful if you intend on continuing to train the others. They will not let the death of Keton go unanswered. What? That is your plan? I wish you luck, but I'm staying well out of the way. This is going to get really ugly. Goodbye. Your next and likely final training partner is waiting by the inner chamber doors. Attendant Kai Fung. Do not hold back. Good luck.
key time. The life of an acolyte is forfeit when they walk into this place, yes. But for one of Gong's ragged minions to do this is unforgivable. Do you think you can make such an insult and disguise it as a simple training mishap? You are a fool. If you are ready, trainer, your next student is waiting. It is my task to make examples of Gong's acolytes who show too much promise. My skills are above question. Gong is about to lose another of his pitiful acolytes. Come, let's move to the hall, and I will end this. Kai Feng? But he was fully trained. Such insolence will not go unpunished. We'll make an example of you soon enough. Your corpse will be dragged before your master. But Kai Feng was a full assassin. How could he have fallen? Shut up. This fool will pay. You'll see. You'll regret this. Lotus Acolyte of Gong, we must make an example of you. You have insulted the attendants of Master Shin's entourage. The Masters do not care whether Acolytes live or die, so it is up to us to avenge the deaths of our fellows. We will not appear weak. We are the attendants of Master Shin. You will die as penance for your insult. Your death will be an example to all of Gong's fools. of display, Acolyte. I've never seen Shin's attendants so handily dismissed. Master Shin's enemies are probably very impressed with your actions. I can only speculate, of course. I do not like how he hides behind us, a coward in Commander's robes. Móka, egy kis kacagás.
You lack function. 